If you've been looking for that luxury, well-appointed travel trailer as your vacation home for the active couple, how about one that's 37 feet, 11 inches, roughly 8,800 pounds, can sleep four up to six if you opt to get the additional sofa as opposed to theater seats? Look, just work with me on this. You're going to love my chalet, the Keystone Outback 330RL. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Now, before I start this review, I got to let you know, uh, I've been in a lot of RVs and the Keystone Outback is one of my favorite travel trailers because it is a luxury appointed RV. They don't skip on one thing inside of these. But I will tell you, as you as we go through, there are a couple of things I'd like to have. So I will be pointing out some good and some bad in these. So, But do me a favor, if you like RVs, you like camping, you want some tips and tricks, maybe you don't even know, but when you get home, the RV of your dreams might be waiting for you in your inbox. If you like all of that and more, click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. All right, let's start in this beauty right here. This is the Keystone Outback 330RL, 37 feet, 11 inches. Let's just call it 38 to be even, roughly 8,800 pounds dry, 78 inch high barrel ceilings. And since it is Keystone, you're going to get those exclusives that Keystone is known for. The blade distribution system for the AC. This one happens to have two, the main one being a 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet AC. That blade system distributes the air more evenly. Hyperdeck flooring which is a polypropylene backed laminated fiberglass to not only help with moisture, but also help with some of that insulation. This is a true deep three season coach could potentially be four seasons based on where you're at in the U S always, you know, keep that in mind. And with this one, you got two different types of decors. You got the Linwood and you got the Camden. The one that we're in right now is the Linwood decor. You can tell by the slate gray appearance of the Thomas Paine furniture, the Camden, they would be that kind of tannish Brown interior, but I like what they did with the black and tan mixture of colors here with our scheme, the solid wood toppers in the slide with the faux metal inlay really makes this look modern yet rustic and you're, you're going to notice good five eighths uh five feet eight inches of clearance inside the slides and here on the back wall dominated by these comfortable thomas Paine recliners you got the five inch modular mid piece here with the storage and the double cup holders there those are plush and comfortable <clears throat> and with those large panoramic windows with the blackout shades, this is going to do a good job of not only giving you natural light, but good airflow too. So if you pull this up to the beach or whatever, recline these out and you're going to have yourself a good night's sleep. Now the 330 RL will sleep up to six people, but with this configuration, with the two sets of recliners, this one will only sleep four. You can opt for a sofa sleeper uh, to swap out in place of the recliners. Beautiful appointments here on my end tables with the tan wood appearance tops with the black bottoms, with these pulls that are decorative and beautiful. I like the color of this. I'm so used to the brushed nickel. Now we see the oiled bronzed and with the frosted glass inlay and the strut support, just adding a little bit more of those luxury appointments to the RV that you're not really used to seeing in a lot of luxury RVs. Just makes things easier to operate. Come over here to the campsite. Nestled in my super slide is my booth dinette a wall separator in between my booth dinette and my entertainment center, which to me just makes it look a little bit nicer, plus makes it a little bit sturdier. Large TV on the swivel and the pullout. Plus you got the frosted glass inlays here with the storage up top. Once again, strut supported, got some side storage there. Not too deep. I uh, don't really know what you could put in there, but you can maybe hide some Girl Scout cookies, maybe the good bottle of bourbon if you wanted to there as well. Jensen AM FM command center with some component storage on both sides. Uh, this is where the speakers are uh, built into the roof of the unit. Uh, and you do have dual zone as well. You can play the music inside or out, but that Jensen AM FM command center, CD, DVD player, Bluetooth. Uh, plus it has the HDMI pass through on it and underneath there, to go along with your 35,000 BTU furnace is an InnoFlame fireplace. Roughly 4,700 BTUs of heat coming off of there, multi-flame settings, multi-light settings. And if you notice right here, 
This is a carpetless slide RV, but I like what they did with continuing that kind of flow and appearance of the floor into the slides. There's no break point for visual, so it actually makes this area look and appear a little bit bigger. Walking into the main area where we have the kitchen, you'll find, since we do have double slides, solid surface countertop here on my island kitchen with the farmhouse sink with the dryer rack, high rise sprayer faucet, beautiful. I like how they did this too with the kind of black and tan appearance. Got your duct right there. Storage over here on this side. Great space for trash can, hideaway hinges there, and solid wood construction on full extension ball bearing drives with the finished off bottoms. I got to tell you, the way Keystone makes their Outbacks, their product manager, really does focus on those appointments that are going to make you feel like this RV is your home. You got this little wood inlay here with the skylight, with the blackout shade there, plus some residential appearance sconces with the kind of old Edison light bulbs that are LED lights in there. Really do like that. Over here beside my refrigerator is my cooktop. You'll see it's flush mounted, more of that solid surface countertop going around it. Plus we got the flow of the backsplash there going top to bottom. This doubles as a splash guard, plus it gives you more prep space. Backlit on the controls and a 21 inch Furion oven, plus pot and pan storage underneath and a little pull out spice rack right there to help you do some cooking if you want it. I mean, just luxury. This is why I call the Outbacks the chalet of RVs because to me, they just really are. You got your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge right here. A little fridge freezer combo. Got good deep pantry space right there, as well as here. Now, the one thing I do want you to notice how bright this RV is, plus the fact that the refrigerator is on, this comes with the SolarFlex 400i system in it. That is a 400 watt solar panel on top of this RV. You'll either get the 200 or the 400, and you'll notice that some of the outlets will say inverted. That means you can power things like the lights, like the 12 volt fridge through the power of the sun because you have a built in inverter in the pass through storage that'll let you know, you know, how your battery's doing, where it's at in the state of charging or floating or whatever, but really gives you a nice option if you want to go off the grid or you don't want to drain those coach batteries. Over here, before we get to the bathroom, you'll see our flush mounted high point microwave, another duct and a little spot for a paper towel holder. That's actually, I gotta tell you, man, for when you go camping, one of the things that you find out when you do get those paper towels is you usually end up just setting the paper towel somewhere like the, the little tube just all over the place. It'll be in the booth dinette, it'll be in the chairs, it'll be in the kitchen, it'll be over here by the prep space. Having it in one spot will actually make camping a little bit easier. You'll see we have more cabinetry here, hideaway hinges, calling card of good construction, shaker style cabinets. Look at the space that we have here in our buffet, coffee station, whatever you want it to be. Just storage for days. And last but not least, before we go to the main entry point, as well as the, the bedroom and the bathroom, I want you to take a look at the booth dinette. Backed on both sides by a wall. I like that feature. I don't know why. It's just for some reason. When usually when you have a super slide, there's no stop between the booth dinette and whatever's behind it. So I just really like this. Got that Thomas Paine plush, soft, cloth-covered seats and backers. And you'll notice that underneath this live, beautiful edge table here, this is a dream dinette. So this reduces down into a sleeper and you got the fold-up seat cushions. Look at all the storage space you have there. Gone is that plyboard cover. You don't have to worry about taking this off and moving it. This just folds up. This folds down and you could probably fit one adult Maybe two if you crunch up and spoon. That's the thing. People are like, you can't fit two adults on there. It depends on how you sleep and how big you are. If you're like Bob, five foot one and weigh 107 pounds, you could probably fit two Bobs on there. But if you're like me, six foot three, two, depending on if I stand up straight and heavier than I should be, I'm only going to be able to get maybe one of me on there. Walk past the main entry point, and once again, you'll see this beautiful decor of the Outback 330 RL continuing even with the solid doors leading to the bedroom and the bathroom, which is passed through. We'll get there in just a minute, Bobby. So, let's stop right here. 
control panel. You do have the 12 volt heating pads on your tanks here, which is really good if you're going through cold climate and you don't want them to freeze and burst. Got your Ericsson HVAC controls main command panel here and a very nice feature on demand hot water heater. Cut that on, get your hot water as you go. Don't have to worry about waiting for ignition, waiting for it to heat up. Walk into the pass-through bathroom, you'll see great linen storage as soon as you walk in. High-rise Dometic porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Neo-angled corner-mounted shower with the huge skylight in there. I like this because it does give me additional headroom, which I don't even need. But the thing that I like about the Neo-angled showers, it gives you the feeling of having more room than you really have. You're not cramped inside the Neo-angled shower, so don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just, you know, when you're moving around, you just have good space because you're going out at an angle. The only thing I'd like to see besides this clear glass is maybe that opaque. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of having a clear shower door. Maybe I'm self-conscious. I don't know. I just don't like it. Okay. Large vanity sink over here. Storage underneath. You got that matte black on your nozzles right here i like the look of that because the black specks inside the countertop kind of match uh, the black there too i like it medicine cabinet with the raised lips and then pass through to the master bedroom so bobby here i tell you what i'll shut this where we have our little hanger on the door you go through there i'll go through here and when you come into the master you'll see king size bed with a pet kennel underneath so if you need a safe place to store the pet whether sleeping or in transit or you just need a spot to put them, there you go. Great little feature. Decorative headboard with the king bed mounted in its own slide. Mirrored storage up above as well as storage underneath as you saw. Only thing I'm not a fan of on this one, uh, your nightstands are really small uh, because they're pretty much just these corner notches right here. And I will roll over and sometimes hit my head on things like this. But with it being a king size bed, you do get more space. If this were a queen, I'd really be concerned about those lips. With it being a king, not really a big factor for me. Right here on the campsite, you'll see that we do have the LED or the LCD TV mounting bracket, your connections, which this was inverted, so if your uh, TV can run off of power, it sure can through the sun right there, GFCI outlet, and your key TV connection, which is a multi-source connection. Another keystone feature like the tough lock joints inside the ducting, like the blade system, like the color-coded wiring. This just means it's a smart outlet. You plug in the wrong thing and the wrong connection, this is gonna know if it's satellite or cable, and you're still gonna be able to connect up and watch TV. Chest of drawers right here. Deep and beautiful. Another window with the blackout shade and the decorative wood valances. And you'll notice right here in the front cap is our ward storage with washer dryer prep, as well as the mirrored closet in the front cap. I like that, man. I like it. Luxury, well-appointed RV that's not going to break the bank. What else can you ask for? If you've been looking for your second RV or maybe you just want your first RV to be a vacation home, this Keystone Outback 330RL could be it. We've seen the inside of this beauty. Let's talk about some features on the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new 2022 Keystone Outback 330RL. Let's start right up front with something I think is awesome that comes with your Outbacks, the BAL leveling system. Now you can either have the 5.1 or the 7.3. This one happens to be the 7.3 automatic leveling. Plus you got a twin 30 pound LP tank. You'll notice that beautiful aerodynamic profile here of this fiberglass end cap painted and helps with the wind resistance right down here on the 10 inch frame you'll see the giggy box on the right the seaflow battery switch right there because this one does have the uh solar uh, flex on it the 400 or the 200 this one happens to have the 400 i on it and what's great about that is you'll have disconnects around the coach but you also have an inverter on the inside and i'll show you that here in a minute but beautiful molded end cap here this rough base serves as the rock guard to help keep the nasty stuff from flying up the road from chipping the coach but you'll notice this is molded around the end calling card of good construction helps with water resistance because the seal isn't just right there on the end plus helps with insulation because you got that additional barrier in there plastic clip on my anti-slam door right here with my storage compartment and a neat feature about this that what i've noticed people are 50 50 on you either hate this or you love it 
A slide out metal container that allows whatever you're hauling in the storage compartment to stay immobile or just be a little bit more protected. So if you want to put fishing rods in there, rifle cases, bags, whatever, you got a good spot for it. Plus it slides in and locks into space. Not a whole lot of external storage space on this 330RL, um, but there is a ton on the inside. And since this is a couple's coach, I can understand why they did it this way. You'll see we are already set up for inverter prep. You got your smart solar charge controller there to let you know where the batteries are when they are charging with that 400i solar flex system and the pure sine wave inverter right over there to make sure we can run everything in the coach off the power of the sun, including those inverted outlets, which are pretty cool. And you'll see one right cha. GFCI, so if you want to set up some outside entertainment, you can. You got your key TV connection there. So if you want some entertainment, cable, satellite, you got the spot to do it there. Now, something about the awning that I don't like. It, the space is great. Uh, it is a 12 volt Solera with the adjustable arms. I, I don't like these floodlights. I'm so used to LED light strips underneath. I think they give me more light. Some people like these, some people don't. Uh, just my preference, I like the strip. Sealed safety windows all the way around. External speakers for outside entertainment. Heated and enclosed underbelly. I mean, they, they really do a good job of giving you an Arctic barrier on this. So I hate saying four season camping. I really do. And here's why. If, if you're in Albuquerque, four season camping is different from somebody in Buffalo, different than somebody in Madison. So use common sense when talking about four season camping. If you're in a spot where the low is negative 60, guess what? Nothing's really gonna be four season camping. If you're in a spot where the high is 120, it's gonna to be tough to four season camp there as well. But this one is a true deep three season coach, potentially four season coach based on location. Solid steps leading me into the main entry point here. Extra large grab handle doubles as a door guard. True fit slide to let me reduce components to move it in and out all up above my road armor suspension underneath there the 15 inch aluminum rims with those dexter easy lube axles absolutely love it and how about a couple's coach rear living with an outside kitchen it's a pretty nice feature you don't see much of if at all slide out two burner cooktop here the suburban two burner cooktop so if you do some outside cooking, you can, or if you're tailgating, you got a spot right here to watch one game, satellite TV prep plus GFCI outlet, another spot around the front. So if you got somebody who's a Texas fan like moi and somebody who's a Oklahoma fan like Bobby, they could watch a game over there. More of that solid wood construction on the storage doors as we come outside. You got the beautiful little RV fridge right here, or as I like to call it the dorm style fridge and more storage. I like how they put the black base in there. Just makes it look cool. Strut supported, good head clearance. Come around to the back, you'll see our four x four sewer hose storage mounted there on the bumper. You do have bike rack prep on there as well. If you wanna set up a bike, bike rack, you can. Huge panoramic window on the back right there. Plus those arch ceilings with the rain nozzles, keeping the rain and snow off this coach. We are set up for backup camera prep as well. Over here on the off-camp side, you got your docking station. This is where you connect your water, plus you have your outside uh, shower right there. It does lock into place. You can keep your connection secure. Another large slide. Come around, we got our dual gray tanks, our main terminations. So right here on the right, you'll see your gray tank beside the wheels. On the left, you'll see your main terminations, your gray and your black tank. Now on this uh, Outback 330RL, you do have a 54 gallon fresh, 76 gallon gray and 38 gallon black. Right above your main terminations is your entertainment connections, that key TV multi-source. And you'll see we're already set up for satellite prep on the roof. Nice little feature. Good little storage spot right here. That's really one of the only knocks I can give the 330RL is the external storage. But given the container there and this one here for a couple, it might actually be enough. You never know. It's, it's really just up to you. What are you taking? When you do go camping a few times, you realize you don't need to take as much stuff as you think. 
But right over here on the off-camp side is where you're going to find the most important part of any RV, the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this coach weigh. So for example, unloaded, we're looking at 9,040 pounds. Gross vehicle, you're looking at 10,500 pounds. And once again, that unloaded weight could vary based on how many people do you want to sleep? Which configuration do you want? Do you want four people or six people? Do you want the recliners? Do you want the sofa? It, just take all that information back to your specialist at Camping World and say, hey, what does that mean? Here's where my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where we're going to go camping. We get that information. We can find the RV of your dreams guaranteed. But I got to tell you, I'm a huge fan of the Outbacks, the way they're built. They're well luxury appointed RVs, travel trailers that are made for active couples or families looking to get out and have a vacation home. So if you're an active couple, you want something 37 feet, 7 inches, roughly 9,040 pounds dry, can sleep four people? Need I say more? But it, everybody's got a flavor. Everybody's got a thing that they like. So leave me some comments down below and let me know what'd you think of this 330RL? What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you and we do take that information back to the manufacturers. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. You never know. You might need some tips and tricks, might need some product guides. You might get home from work and find the RV of your dreams waiting on you right there in your inbox. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoy the Keystone Outback 330RL. Until next time, thanks. I look forward to hearing from you. And please, come check out an RV because they're fun.